Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Stotmar is here. Today we got a tech video. So recently, or after nine months, we bought the Ryzen 5 6600. Um, you can see here Ryzen 5. The Ryzen 5 6600. So it's uh, this processor is doing really well, to be honest. Um, however, the temperature sometimes spikes up up to 80s. Uh, so I decided, why don't we get a cooler? So I searched for many coolers on the internet, and I found out, or I find out, a best cooler, or one of the best coolers is the Cooler Master Hyper 12 or 212 Evo and Turbo Black Edition. So many 212 and Evos and Turbos, and they are the same brand, right? So I went to the local store in my city and I found really interesting new version of the Hyper 212. From Cooler Master, but uh, or I must say first, it's pretty similar to the Cooler Master Black Edition, but with a RGB fan. So let me show you uh, how is the cooler or how the box looks like, and later I will show you the difference between the stock cooler and the aftermarket cooler on the Ryzen 5. This is the new cooler, which is called Hyper 2 12 Spectrum. You can see Spectrum. This cooler is not even on the internet yet. I have no idea if they uh, were holding it in, in the shelves. I have no idea. But I don't care. I made this video because I searched on them. Many articles on the internet, I didn't find this cooler at all. So, I said, why don't you buy this cooler and show it for the internet? So, is there any difference between this uh, pig guy and the black edition? I have no idea, but from the box itself, it shows um let me see didn't even read what's in it so it got a four heat pipes uh pretty similar to the gb header i think you can plug it in your board i will show you uh to the the rgb i think you can control that from your software if you don't have a motherboard that support uh, the RGB you can just plug it and the RGB header lets you control the colors but uh, you can control pretty much or more on the software rather than the remote uh, yeah we are about 30 CPU usage as you can see in here about 24 20 and the idle temperature is 60 so if we bench the CPU we'll find out the as you can see 63 on 20 usage that's pretty insane so if we try to stress the CPU for the while we'll find out as you can see 81 80 80s we're spiking to 81 just in a second, 82, as you can see, the processor starts spiking. Like in a few seconds, it spiked to 82. So, as you can see, sorry, um, AMD, this stock cooler is not pretty well made for rendering, to be honest. Uh, if you want, to be on budget, please make sure this stock cooler is really enough. 
but if you're playing on high FPS, you need to buy a cooler similar like, like this or from any other company. Uh, there's a bunch of companies or tons of companies that make a really interesting coolers. But in my city, most of them seal Cooler Masters, Evo, Turbo, and so on. So I will turn off the PC and show you the difference after the plug the, um, the cooler. And let's see. Alright, so we are back now after installing the cooler. Uh, I find out that this cooler has no RGB header or any connector, just a rainbow fan. You cannot control the LED, sorry, uh, just notice that at the end of the video. Uh, or the part 2 of the video now I will show you uh, the, the big improvement that we got after installing the cooler uh, okay so I have nothing opened except Streamlabs and so as you can see we currently on 72 and we still running a really or super heavy test for Ryzen especially uh, as you can see we jump it to 74 uh, the CPU die on average is 73 uh, and as you can see on the left side the CPU core voltage uh, everything is in maximum the CPU usage everything is maximum on maximum so I guess we really got a nice improvement while installing the cooler other than stick with the aftermarket sorry the stock cooler but stock cooler is doing really well especially for casual games we'll finish the test um, we got 2907 so as you can see the maximum our temperature that we got is about 76 uh, the temperature is on idle now is about 50 to 47 um, it's not bad previously uh, at the beginning of the video we got about on idle about um 60s um my real interest is whenever i play a game uh for now or now the processor has no risk to die i guess um okay so i have to say super bye bye for the lovely stock cooler uh, I really am gonna miss you. Uh, for everyone using this cooler, uh, please give it a love. This cooler has served me well uh, while I had no money buying the aftermarket cooler. Uh, thank you AMD for making uh, at least a affordable cooler. Some sometimes you buy a cooler or so, sorry, you buy a processor without a cooler, so you need to buy an aftermarket cooler. Uh, and you know, if I, uh, so when you are in a budget, it's really a peak time or a big problem. So I would like to thank AMD for doing well, I guess, as well for the casual games. And now, uh, I'm sorry for the hardcore gaming for being uh, I stream every day, so it's really tough. When I touch my case, I feel like it's in, like an oven. <laughs> uh, Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any question, leave it down in the comment section below. Sorry for the large keyboard. I'm still working on making a good view for the camera. Still got no time to fix it. Sorry for the big keyboard in front of the camera. Um, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, thumbs up. If you have any question about this aftermarket cooler, 
uh, let me know before I end this video I would like to show you how is the RGB works or looks like uh, if you're going to buy the same color that I bought today so as you can see now this is the the RGB so I'll try to focus on it of the aftermarket cooler uh, it's a rainbow colored uh, I'm afraid you can't control the lights uh, it comes like this as a default I'm afraid uh, it looks looks really cool I don't mind also you can see my Oris logo <laughs> on HyperX I love Oris logo uh, she got uh, the logo got dusty so this is how the RGP works I hope you see you soon please subscribe <laughs> subscribe subscribe